Toko Dynamo for Denver into the center circle and we are underway here in Vermillion. Pios control it. Tommy Bruder, the nation's leading scorer. Will yeah, he's been a force in the low post scoring it, but even more importantly on the offensive glass on this end. Max Burchill into the paint. Late shot clock. Gets the shooter's touch and the Coyotes are on the board first. So Bruder. Over 25 points per game coming into the night. Inside out. Tynamo for three. Rattles home. Kyle's get it into the post. Here's Chun. Working on Tynamo. Hits the deck there. Little hook shot up and over. Addo Ankra came over to try and help out. Should <laughs> be the game for you tonight. Well, both these teams not afraid to play high possession games. Tynamo tries it again. He's got two already. And the Pioneers are back in front. Little floater. Good for Boston Holtz. Well, Jay Tynamo in their last game against Royal Roberts, he only had four points. Really struggled there. He's going to take another one. Three oh boy. for three for the big man from Denver. Javon Hill will go back into the reserve role tonight. That's an encouraging sign. And controlled by Tynamo, and now Bruner will walk it up the floor for the Pioneers. So all that talk about Tommy Bruner and Caleb Stewart, zero combined points thus far. Yeah, it's been the role players. Boy, how about this start for Denver? He's getting a little, uh, he was making a gesture to the crowd after those first three makes as Burchill cans a three on the other end. And uh, so those cheers you yeah. probably picked up after that <laughs> last did foul out of that game at 15 points, eight rebounds before that happened in regulation as Tynamo goes back to work inside. And Denver resets with a fresh 20 here. Right, you, see, you see the effect of not having Lahat Chun out there already on the boards. Inside and a nice feed that time from DeAndre Craig. Didn't have to get up high to lay that one in. And the Pios have their lead back to four. Boston Holt to the rim. Boom. Offensive board to put back is good. So Craig picks up his dribble just inside the stripe. And now they swing it back outside. Bruner deep three. NBA range and then some. And his first shot falls. And now Bruns quickly into the front court. Right to the rim going at the shot blocker card. I think he did get a piece of that. Denver's calling card, like we mentioned, is their offense. But defensively, they've had their struggles. Inside DeAndre Craig. What a find there from Bruner. Uh, Denver has eight made baskets in this first half. And Bruner's assisted on four. Paul Bruns from the corner. Paul Bruns has been picking it up. He went through a, a long drought there where he was struggling to shoot the basketball. And now he's looking to turn defense into offense. And he's got five straight points. Tommy Bruner. See it here as Bruner came down maybe on a foot there as it got cut off as he left the frame there. So DeAndre Craig with it now. On the drive, little teardrop, no, and Carr. Now Carr is hobbled here as he tried to go in for a tap in. So Brenchley, transfer from Utah with it now. He'll spot up and shoot it from deep, splashes it home. And Denver, shot is off the mark. Now Stewart hits the accelerator all the way to the rim, to the deck, no call is made. Stewart's asking to come out of the game, Jay. He's wincing out there in pain for He's holding his ribs. Yeah. So now a three for Garf, and Eric Peterson uses a timeout. I mean, Caleb Stewart went down in a heap. Holt shot, excuse me there. They kind of baited him into that three-point attempt. Brenchley, tough one through contact, scores. That's the attack they want to see out of Boston Holt, and he's been Going at the freshman Craig. And now Caleb, the I'm ahead. sorry, Caleb Stewart has not returned yet in this game since being hurt. Now Paul Bruns yeah. with his second three. And, you know, a guy who's certainly his calling card with this program is one of those that's going to do whatever it takes to help the team. And Bruns hits again. We're tied at 33. Shot South Dakota right back into this thing. He's got three triples. We're tied at 33. Scalding hop from outside. It's cooled a little bit here of late. And now Isaac Bruns.
splashes through the baby baseline jumper. So roughly 43 points a half. Right now the pile's sitting at 35. What'd you say at the first media timeout? They were on pace as Bruner. It's a tough one with Boston Holt for several minutes here in this first half together. Yeah. One due to fouls and one due to injuries. Bruner falls away from 15 feet and hits. So Boston Holt has been one of the aggressors on offense. And he's into double figures. Can get dribble penetration. Well, here comes Holt. Clock winding down, pulls up, it's good if it goes! Boston Holt for three at the buzzer, and South Dakota will take a five-point lead into the half. How about this from Boston Holt? Calm, cool, and collected for three at the buzzer. Yeah, not a terrific three-point shooter on the season, but Holt can that one. And Al Brenchley. Move it in, Tynamo started hot, quieter down the stretch of that first half, but hits his first shot of the second half. Now for whatever reason, from outside. Kyle's get it inside here to Chun. Spent a lot of that first half on the bench with foul trouble and now just turned it over. Yeah, left his feet, didn't know what he wanted to do with it. Ado Ankra, don't want to leave that guy alone and he knocks down the triple. Denver, just like that, has evened it up at 46 apiece. Five straight for them out of the time. Uh, 25 free throw attempts a game. Tied him on the offensive rebound. That's one area where Denver has controlled things. The offensive glass, that was their eighth O board already. Tied puts it back and we're tied at 48. Holt shot blocked by Anno Ankra. Catch and shoot for three. Isaac Bruns, no good. Offensive rebound for older brother Paul. Through traffic. And Bruns wanted a foul call and nothing came. First seven yeah, here since the half. Exactly. Too strong. Tynamo the putback. And again, the offensive glass comes into play. Thought about it. Into the paint. Over the outstretched hands of the seven-footer Isaiah Carr. And Max Virgil connects. Back to Bruner. He managed to eclipse a thousand points at Denver in just 52 games. That's ridiculous. And now he's the leading scorer and he's approaching. It's another second chance for the Piles here. Brenchley, what a move! Lays it in and swirls it home. Denver takes a four-point lead in part to the nifty finish like that one right there. In this game, they're going to look to offensive glass as one of the reasons why. They've given a really good offensive team too many second chances. They're consistently getting into the paint yeah. and having that look from eight feet. They gave way to the big fella. Chew the offensive rebound. He gets a put back. Tynamo puts it on the deck, working on Burchill. Tough shot there from the elbow from Toko Tynamo. Been at Kansas City at Oral Roberts now tonight here in Vermillion. But they've got four of their next five at home, and so they've hit a bit of a skid. I don't think he'll be on that Denver bench very long with the way he's played tonight. They're going to need him out there. Shooting off the inbound, up and over. That's a really good matchup. South Dakota had the advantage. Oh, this is not a good switch for USD. I mean, that's a that's a good shot from Bruner, but I, I tell you what, Brack handled it okay. Look how they isolate Bruner, give him space to operate. Back door, Lopez San Vicente, and Holt just kind of let him go there. He got oh, how about Bruner? Six assists. She tried to pass out of a double team. It didn't work. Ado Ankra back the other way, and a lay-in is good. By the way, South Dakota, who's had its struggles in the turnover department all season, that was just their sixth of the night, but it was a, about when they happen yeah. sometimes. Bruder. Oh, boy. Wow. Uh, there's not much you can do to defend that. Said it a couple times. That's against a guy that's got a six-inch size advantage on him, but Bruner's still able to get it to fall. Holtz shakes off the defender and scores right back. Boston Holtz with 19 points. But when you can get to the stripe and get eight of them, that makes up for that. Now, for instance, 
At 22 is Holtz. Goes right through contact and lays it in. Bronze to bronze in the front court. Paul for three. Oh my. We want to talk about shooter's touch. That thing died. Here's Boston Holtz going to work on Jackson Bridgley. Off the window, just a touch too strong. Offensive rebound for Tune. Back up, and it goes. We're tied at 75. Ken Bruner and the Pios answer here. Boy, he banks one in. I, there was some separation there on the offense. State. The win was here in overtime against St. Thomas a couple of weeks ago. Holt up and over, plus the foul. Boy, Boston Holt has hit some big ones tonight, Brad. You saw the three to beat the buzzer before the break, and now a chance to get... Has had the hot hand all night. South Dakota does have a timeout remaining. Holt for the win. Too strong, and we're going to overtime. Here he is with the basketball now. Going to work on Tynemo. Double comes, finds Boston Holt. Layup good, plus the foul. What a pass from the hot tune. I'm not sure how Tune saw this here. I mean, there were bodies everywhere, but just a beautiful little shovel pass. Bruner with 30, Holt with 27. Overtime, South Dakota up one. Make it three. Lahat Tune with 17 points. A lot of the Denver starters have. Back to Tune. Will he go back at Tynemo? Tynemo hits the deck and an easy land for Tune. Matt and Bruns didn't let the pass find it. Quickly off the inbound. Jackson Frenchly ties it at 86. But that's not his specialty, certainly. He's a guy who's going to work for things and get yeah. low boards and things like that. We've seen that tonight, but called upon in a big situation there. And he hits the game tying bucket. They get 24 of 25. Bruder, the catch. South Dakota gets away. It'll count if it goes. It does not. And South Dakota gets one back.